Shogun is this cool new show on Hulu and FX that's based on a book from the 70s. It's all about these European dudes who end up in Japan right when there's a big fight for who's gonna be in charge. The old leader kicked the bucket and his kid is too young to take over, so now five lords are all fighting to be the big boss. People are loving it. Nine million folks tuned in during the first week, and critics are all about it. If you're into Shogun, don't worry. There are plenty of other shows out there that you'll dig. Since Shogun is just one season, you're gonna need something else to watch once it's over. Good thing there's tons of options out there for you to binge on. The TV show Game of Thrones is all about kings, queens, and dragons, and it's based on some books by a guy named George R.R. Martin. It's super popular, and loads of people watch it. Even though it's totally different from Shogun, they both have a similar storyline. Rich families fighting over who gets to be in charge once the old king kicks the bucket. People had mixed feelings about the last season of Game of Thrones. Some thought it was awesome, some thought it could have been better, and some straight up hated it. But everyone agrees that the seasons before the last one were epic and totally worth all the hype they got. So don't let the haters on the internet sway your opinion. Just keep an open mind and see how you feel about it. You might not love it, but hey, you might not hate it either. If you're interested in learning more about the world of Shogun, check out Age of Samurai, Battle for Japan. It's a docuseries that mixes expert interviews with dramatic reenactments of historical events. The show, which you can watch on Netflix, got good reviews. If you're into history or just want to see what feudal Japan was really like, this series is a solid choice. While Shogun is a fictional story set in a real-time period, the events in the show aren't too far off from what life was probably like back then. Age of Samurai Battle for Japan is a great way to get a more realistic glimpse into feudal Japan. Have you seen Vikings before? It's all about, well, Vikings, as you can probably tell from the title. It was a massive hit, and even led to a spin-off series called Vikings, Valhalla, which is still going strong. People loved it because of its cool genre and style, plus it had a good mix of drama and action. It's got a little something for everyone. Just like Shogun, it's a made-up story set in a real place, but the characters in Vikings actually existed in history. The show focuses on Viking warlords battling it out, and European sailors exploring new lands. The Vikings end up being the first Europeans to reach North America. If you enjoyed Shogun, you'll definitely love watching Vikings for more historical drama. Six Flying Dragons has a massive 50 episodes in just one season. It did better in South Korea than in the West, probably because it's not easy to find outside of its home country. You can watch it on Amazon, but you might need a VPN depending on where you live. The show is based on real events, like Shogun, but with a fictional twist. It tells the story of the founding of the Kingdom of Joseon, which ruled most of the Korean peninsula for centuries. There are a ton of characters, but each one is unique and many of them actually existed in history. There's lots of action and political drama, so if you can track down a way to watch it, definitely give it a go. Kingdom is this epic South Korean TV show that's kinda in TV show purgatory right now. Two incredible seasons and a spin-off movie have been released, but it's still up in the air whether we'll get a third season. Netflix hasn't said no, but they also haven't said yes. But let me tell you, this show is something else. It's set around the same time as Shogun, but with a supernatural twist. Picture this, a family trying to bring a dead king back to life ends up unleashing hordes of zombies instead. It's intense, action-packed, and definitely not for the faint of heart. And of course, what would a Korean drama be without some family drama? Kingdom's got that too, with rival royal families battling it out for power. If you're a fan of Shogun or just love a good horror series, Kingdom is a must-watch. You won't be disappointed. Barbarians is a wicked German show on Netflix that doesn't get the love it deserves. It's all about the battles between Romans and Germanic tribes way back before the Middle Ages. This show dives into a part of history that's not talked about much, 
giving a cool and different take on historical fiction. Since it's about a war, it's full of raw violence and doesn't hold back on showing blood and guts. What's cool is that it doesn't paint either side as heroes, showing them for what they really were, brutal armies thirsty for blood. But it's not just the fighting that makes this show awesome. It's the stories of love and betrayal, kind of like what you see in Shogun, that really make it stand out. The show is still going strong with more seasons in the works, so now's the perfect time to check it out, especially if you're into history. If you're into Shogun, you'll probably dig the European sailors in Japan doing their pirate thing, trying to convert folks to Protestantism and all. If that floats your boat, check out Black Sails, a show about pirates that's a prequel to Treasure Island. It's kind of flown under the radar lately, but it totally deserves more love. The show has a cool, gritty vibe like other historical fiction shows, plus a killer cast and awesome action scenes. It's the perfect lead-up to a classic story, and you won't be disappointed if you give it a go. So there's this new South Korean show on Netflix called Gyeongseong Creature. And let me tell you, it's pretty out there with all its fantastical stuff. Some folks are wondering if it's like Shogun, but really, they're only kind of similar. They're both about East Asian history and all that jazz, but that's pretty much where the similarities stop. But hey, a ton of people are digging both shows, so they must be doing something right. Gyeongseong Creature is all about the Japanese invasion of Korea during World War II. And get this, there's this crazy creature wreaking havoc all over the place. Sounds wild, right? But let me tell you, it actually works really well. There's only one season out so far, but they're planning more. So once you finish Shogun, you might want to give this one a shot and see if it's your cup of tea. So, The Terror is a pretty cool show, but you gotta stick it out through the first season if you want to compare it to Shogun. The show deals with different historical tragedies and throws in some spooky supernatural stuff for good measure. Each season focuses on a new event, with the first season following a stranded ship crew searching for the Northwest Passage. In Season 2, the action shifts to the West Coast during World War II, where Japanese citizens come across some creepy bakemono. The show dives into Japanese folklore that's still around today, which adds an interesting layer to ancient Japan. While the two shows aren't super similar, it's still fun if you're into Japanese culture or history. Plus, you can't learn all that stuff from just watching anime, you know? The Last Kingdom is basically like Shogun in a bunch of ways. It's all about King Alfred the Great fighting off foreign sailors and English rulers trying to take over. Ring any bells? The show didn't start off great, but it got huge once Netflix picked it up for the third season. There's medieval battles, sword fights, shady politics, strong character relationships. It's a great show that came out at just the right time. Shows like this were hot when it first came out, thanks to the success of Game of Thrones. Based on a novel, it's full of bloody violence and power struggles between lords. If you're into shows like Shogun, then The Last Kingdom is right up your alley.